this Sunday uh, to play at Soldier Field. Back with more sports in about 20 minutes. Right now, it's Fox 10 News at 10 o'clock. The monsoon not going out lightly. Another massive storm hits the valley, causing damage and power outages. One of the three teenagers arrested for copycat freeway shootings talks to Fox 10. I just miss him so much. <laughs> and a man kills a firefighter for causing a traffic jam. Wow, the monsoon hits with... Night Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Benicio Del Toro drops by. He was uh, out on the 101 in Scottsdale Road, caught this amazing video, decided to pull over because as you can see, those windshield wipers just not strong enough to get rid of that rain off the windshield. Parts of the valley tonight hit by a severe weather alert. Like a lot of you, I also got caught up in this storm also. I was uh, out at 7th Avenue and McDowell on my... To you, to see... Plus 0% financing for 72 months on the 2015 Chrysler 200. Connecting Arizona. This is 12 News at 10. Good evening. We begin with breaking news tonight. A, a devastating story coming out of the far northern edge of the state along the U. In that area tonight, Christy, it's hit a lot of us by surprise. It did hit a lot of us by surprise, Mark. And with the power out here, the traffic lights out, I should say, a lot of people coming to a screeching halt throughout the course of the evening, uh, just barely missing other drivers as they came through that intersection. And unfortunately, there are two drivers that they didn't miss each other. They collided. And you'll see that those cars are actually being pulled up onto the back of that tow truck at this point. It was around a 920 uh, that these two cars collided. As we'd seen throughout the course of the evening, a lot of people, as the traffic started died down didn't realize that the traffic lights were out here so they continued moving forward thinking uh, you know I'm just moving along I'm not seeing a red light there's no other cars around well each of these cars uh, hitting the other each spinning out we had a small silver sedan that spun out in the westbound direction along McDowell and then what appears to be a small size SUV or cross flooded streets a big problem tonight air 15 cap causing widespread power outages tonight after this happened around 920 um, as we stood here and uh, recorded some footage that hopefully we're uh, going to show you to you now uh, we did see that one woman was be removed from the car uh, she did have a neck brace put on her and had to be put on a stretcher and was put into the ambulance it did appear that all of the uh, airbags did deploy uh, when we took a look inside of the, the vehicle with the doors open there as for the second vehicle we watched as one individual was able to step um, by herself out of the vehicle. The second individual, though, also had to be put on a stretcher and then taken to the hospital to be checked out. So this is a perfect example in these storms of unfortunately what can happen. The power goes out, the area goes dark, not just the payway and the Starbucks that you saw, Mark, but when those traffic lights are out, it's extremely dangerous in a busy intersection like this. Uh, so police on the scene now tonight, they've got their flares out. They're directing traffic, hopefully to uh, make sure this doesn't happen again. And uh, the scene in terms of the rain here. Pretty epic earlier. There was flooding, water going under the doorway at Starbucks. People were running out out of, uh, with ponchos made out of trash bags and uh, the power going All right, Christy, sorry, we lost the signal. There appears to be a transformer, as we mentioned, in the middle of that street. There's quite a mess out there. Really a big mess, Amber. We started our weather night here tonight in Tempe where we saw... And trees falling victim to tonight's monsoon as well. Wow. Yeah, airport too as that rolled through. But the bottom line is it's over for tonight, but a whole bunch of rain out there. Let's check out... Harbors Terminal 2. That was near Gate 11. We were told that debris was actually reported between Gates 11 and 17 inside the airport concourse. And this is viewer video from an Ahwatukee neighborhood. We're told almost immediately after the storm hit, the streets started flooding. At one point, up to six inches of water was running down the road. And check out downtown Phoenix earlier this evening. You can see the clouds moving very quickly across the sky. And then in came the rain and then a lot of wind. Sky Harbor.
He did tell me in understandable English he knows he's lucky. Nearby along Indian School, more power poles down, this time into a canal. And we heard been a busy night. It's been a very busy night for us. This hit very quickly. Just take a look at some of the rain that we got. Some of these areas getting this much rain in just 30 minutes. And that brought up our monsoon total to almost three inches for the year now. Now our peak wind gusts during the storm system was 59 miles an hour. And that was at the Scottsdale Airport. Here's the thing. We have a chance to see some light rain heading into tomorrow afternoon. Live look at CBS Pinpoint and Doppler to show you just how calm it is in our area. The storm. The power out yet again in this monsoon, and they've been told it might be several days at the worst case. They say they have screaming, in their words, children at home, and they're not going to be happy to be without power yet again. A dark and stormy night here in Phoenix, guys. Yeah, it's been experienced for a lot of people out there. Let's get over to Stephanie Hockridge now at our live desk. Stephanie, you're gathering some of the incredible videos from this stormy night. Yeah, we certainly understand the dangers of our severe weather, but there's also a really beautiful side to Mother Nature. Look at this photo sent to us from um, Amanda Archer. It's, she took it in Chandler. So many of you sending stunning photos just like these of tonight's storm. So we wanted to share with you what it looked like from nearly every corner of the valley. The storm started south of the you are prepared whenever the monsoon strikes by downloading our free 12 news app. Now to our other top story of the day, the I-10 shootings. Since Thursday, there have been no new cases, but DPS continues to crashing down and cars are being rerouted as dig back and forth dig until we got through about 40 or 50 feet of sand. Parts of State Route 238 got... C Street and uh, we stopped to be traveling in right now because a lot of the uh, traffic lights are out again but we did see this block right here the lights just came on so it looks like APS is working hard to get uh, the power restored in this area uh, but again uh, several lines down here uh, several power poles down in the area uh, you know if you're traveling in this area again be very very careful but a lot of damage especially here in Central Phoenix left behind by today's monsoon reporting live in Central Phoenix I'm Nicole Garcia Fox 10 News. Wow, look at this video. I, I mean, again, we keep seeing these pieces of video showing just how intense this storm was. This is uh, in downtown Phoenix, uh, right at the height of the storm. Caused a lot of problems for people. Again, if you're out driving in it, it was really dangerous. So the big question now is, so just how hard were... There is sitting in an MCSO jail the prime suspect or suspects still out there tonight. Several arrests, but they still have not charged anyone. No, so tonight they're now upping the ante here. There's now a $50,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. 3TV's Jonathan Lowe talked to a criminal profiler about the shooter. Jonathan? Bullets and other projectiles like BBs have been fired at vehicles. But officials have not named a prime suspect. CBS 5's Jonathan Lowe got answers from a criminal profiler who thinks the shooter may now be hiding. Six different law enforcement agencies ponied up. It's like gunshots. It was coming down the street. We heard pop, 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 pop. The noises coming from a moving car. And as they pulled in front of my house, they shot twice. You could see a little, little gun hanging out the window, and there was a driver and a passenger. It was fight or flight, and Mercer chose the former. They need to be stopped. So that was just my initial reaction was just go after him. He called 911 and ended up chasing the car for nearly 15 minutes. We were on the phone with the dispatcher and he said to turn our hazards on so the police would know it was us. Inside the vehicle, 19-year-old Michael Cuevas and a 15-year-old minor. Then all of a sudden you see the chopper coming in up top. You see a couple of other police SUVs coming in from in front of us. Phoenix police took it from there. I just wanted to catch whoever was doing it. Because if, if that was them, if that was the I-10 shooter, I think anybody should have done that. Honestly, you, I mean, somebody could easily get shot and killed. That was Lauren Vargas reporting for us tonight. The freeway shooting task force did respond to the situation. Right now, Phoenix police say they do not believe this case is connected to the freeway shootings. But Zach told our reporters out there, our crews out there, that nothing like this has ever happened in this neighborhood until now. Well, tonight we're hearing from some of the accused copycats still in handcuffs and accused of using a slingshot to launch rocks at people and cars. ABC 15's Nohelani Graf is live at the Lower Buckeye Jail after sitting down 
down with one of the suspects in custody there. And the, no, hey, the question on everybody's mind is what were they thinking? Well, Steve, it would seem. And so I want to see this person caught and brought to justice. In an exclusive interview with 12 News Today, Governor Doug Ducey saying he will not be satisfied until the person or persons responsible for the freeway shootings are caught, while adding he and his family have had conversations about whether or not to take the I-10. And ASU apparently doing the same. The university announcing today that school shuttles will begin avoiding the I-10 until further notice. This as DPS warns anyone who drives between 35th and 83rd avenues to consider alternate routes. And of course, stay with 12 News for continuing coverage. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. What he doesn't feel. Just three teenagers being dumb. Is responsible, claims he was just the driver, had no way to stop it. I was sitting in the seat and one of my buddies started chuckling and that's when he pulled out the slingshot and started shooting just out the window. As for his buddies, Albert German, much more tight-lipped. Our camera's rolling as he's released from jail, running to his ride. Do you still think your son is innocent? Leaving any talking up to his family. Can well, definitely make a deal. Chris Cook, ready to talk about what happened on the road in the East Valley, if it gets him out of jail. I have a two-year-old and a one-year-old, and their mom's not around anymore. The judge doesn't go for it. The community safety issues in this case, the court thinks, unfortunately, outweigh your own personal situation. So it's back behind bars, just like Nottingham, left to wait for whatever comes next. I've been told that I could be sending, serving prison time. Nottingham told me he's known the others about two years. He is homeless, lives in his car. That's where deputies arrested him. Uh, he and Cook have a juvenile record. Cook also has misdemeanor charges against him that he faced before a record as an adult. Both of them face felony charges for endangerment. German, who's out, faces misdemeanor charges. Katie. All right, thank you, Nohe. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton sitting down with ABC 15 for a one-on-one -on -one interview on the freeway shootings. He admits this is a scary situation, but he doesn't want you to completely avoid our freeways. I'm not advising people not to use I-10. Things policyholders discover when they arterial road through our city for commerce or education or getting people to their doctor's appointment. Remember, DPS emphasizing this case is not closed. You can do your part by saying something if you see something. Call them. The number's on your screen, 602-644-5805. She admits she made a mistake, but was it a criminal one? New de developments tonight on a Gilbert mom who left her infant son in a shopping cart after he... Consultas con especialistas completely... Get 1,500 cash... Actually, I'm still on it to support her on social media using the hashtag I stand with Cherish. Her baby, by the way, was never hurt. These fires will take lives. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus find your bonus tag and get 4,000. And there was mail for nine other addresses on this block, including me, and for the mail for me was my new debit card. Hidden forever. And the valley may be back in the clear tonight, but we still have storms to track in the high country. We'll take a closer look and talk storm chances by the hour for your forecast tomorrow in just minutes.